There is more evidence tonight that doctors need to keep an open mind about closed arteries. You'd think if your arteries narrowed or blocked that getting rid of the blockage ought to make everybody better. Sometimes those simple truisms aren't so true. What is true is that using balloon angioplasty to open a clogged artery and then adding a stent to keep it open can save a life if done within 12 hours of a heart attack. But recent data has questioned the benefit of inserting stents later than 12 hours. And today, a study shows that over two years, using only drugs is $7,000 cheaper and offers the same quality of life as putting in a stent, which can run more than $27,000. Certainly in many clinical uh, situations, medical therapy may indeed be as good therapy as angioplasty. And for patients with the most serious blockages, the standard of care has been bypass surgery where doctors use a patient's own good vessels to divert blood around areas of narrowing. A second study examined a recent trend in cardiac care, the idea that stents could work just as well as bypass surgery in patients with the most serious blockages. Again, stents fell short. Over time, many of the patients that had stents are coming back for another procedure, whereas quite few of the bypass patients are coming back for another procedure. One clear message here is that one size doesn't fit all. Stents definitely have a role in the treatment of heart disease, but it seems that role is more limited than once thought, Katie. And John, so I understand this correctly. Drugs work better than stents if it's done 12 hours after a heart attack and they're less expensive. And then when it comes to bypass surgery, if there's major blockage, that surgery works better than stents. So when are stents recommended? during a heart attack or near heart attack, or if you have chest pain that's not responsive to medical treatment. And some people just don't want to go through a big bypass operation. You do have to open up your chest wall and do a big operation. But at the end of the day, for people out there who have stents, they shouldn't worry or panic. They should use this as an opportunity to talk to their doctor about medication and lifestyle, especially a lifestyle. All right, Dr. John LaFouf, John, thank you so much.